Hi everyone, welcome to a new video from App Explorer China. Today, we've brought you a dedicated deep dive video on Game for Peace, where we'll provide all the information from downloading the game to logging in. So basically, if you want to play Game for Peace, you need just two things, or rather, one of the two, either a QQ account or a WeChat account. I'm guessing you've already searched and watched several videos on how to create these accounts before this one. So, the straightforward question is, can you actually create an account, or are you just wasting your time endlessly searching? And if it is possible to create one, I'll guide you through the entire process in this video. So watch it properly. First of all, let's talk about the requirements to play Game for Peace. Look, the first thing you need is a VPN. Without a VPN, you won't be able to play the game or even create an account. Talking about VPNs, you can go for Porxy VPN, Octahide VPN, or if you're okay with a paid option, go for ExpressVPN. These are easily available on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store. You can download them from there, alright? Now, the main thing you'll need is either QQ or WeChat. To download QQ, you can either go to its official website or use third-party sites like Uptodown or APK Mirror. If you want to download it from the official site, let me tell you how. Go to im.qq.com, from here, you can download it based on your device. You'll need a VPN to access this site. Just click the download button and your download will start. Simple. Next, you can also install WeChat. You'll find the official site at wakesan.qq.com. You can click there. You'll see two options, Google Play and APK version. If Google Play isn't available for you, click on the other option. Then follow the same process. Click according to your system, if you choose Android, you'll get the APK version, which you can then install. The final step is downloading Game for Peace. But I wouldn't recommend downloading Game for Peace before creating your account. You can install it at the end, it's not too difficult. If you want to know how to download it, simply go to the official website, gp.qq.com d. I'll also put the links to all these websites in the description, so you can access them from there. The game file is around 2 GB, so download accordingly. But again, I recommend you create your account first, and only then download the game. Now, let's first try creating a WeChat account. Connect your VPN. Then open WeChat. You'll see two options, login and sign up. You can sign up in two ways, using your mobile number or Facebook. Either way, you'll still have to enter a mobile number. I'll try the mobile number method. So I entered an Indian number, created a password, entered my name, and submitted the form. Then you'll see a screen with the privacy policy, accept it and submit. Now you'll be asked to solve a capture, just slide the puzzle piece or identify the object based on the instructions. After this, if you're using an Indian number, you'll get an error, because WeChat is banned in India. Even if you try using a foreign number, it won't really help, at least not on Android devices. You can't register in India. I once tried it on iOS with a foreign number, registration was successful, but then it asked to scan a QR code. And even if you scan the QR code on Android, it gives an error like, network or device environment not suitable. And this QR code can only be scanned by someone who already has a WeChat account. So you'll need to do a bit of effort, find someone to help. You can try finding someone on Discord, Facebook, or Instagram, anywhere. Now if you try creating a QQ account, there's a similar problem. Even if you enter a Chinese number, it'll still ask for face authentication. You might manage to get Chinese ID info, but facial verification is not possible. However, nowadays, QQ gives a QR code option for foreign numbers, maybe even for Indian numbers now, so you can check that. You'll still need to find a Chinese user who is eligible to scan it for you. The QQ interface is entirely in Chinese, so use an image translator or Google Lens to translate it. If someone helps you out, you can successfully create and use a QQ account. So that's everything I've explained to you. If you manage to get any of these accounts, you can easily log in to Game for Peace. But if you're tired of searching and no one is helping you make an account, then you can contact me. I can provide verified QQ and WeChat accounts, yes, it will cost money, as you can imagine, creating these accounts is quite hard. You can message me on WhatsApp or Telegram. I've also added the link to my new Telegram channel in the description, I'll share video updates and proof there, so you can join that. If you have any issues with any part of this video, feel free to leave a comment or share your feedback. Thanks for watching the video, happy exploring.